Hi everyone, my name is uh, Renzo Madrid, and if you can uh, move on to the next slide. Yes. Perfect. So my name is uh, Renzo Madrid, and I'm the Executive Vice President of the Ryerson University Co-op Students Association. Hi everyone, my name is Samaya Javid, and I'm the Vice President of Events for Ryerson University Co-op Student Association. So to begin, I'd like to talk about the Ted Rogers Co-op Program. So as you all know, TRSM has one of the largest uh, business co programs in Canada. We partner with hundreds of employers. Currently, the placement rate is extremely high at 92 to 100 percent. Students earn an average of $36,000 over their terms, which is divided over uh, four terms. So that's $10,000 per term minus a $4,000 fee that the co-op uh, office charges. So the majority of students actually secure full-time job offers before graduation, which is fantastic. And if you are part of the COAP program, you have access to exclusive events, workshops, and prep programs. This includes dedicated support from COAP coordinators and mentorship from uh, senior COAP students. So here's a quote from one of our uh, COAP students. COAP can help you differentiate your skill set and give you an edge with real world experience. You can hit the ground running when you graduate, and it is a great opportunity to expand your network within the industry. If you're interested in applying, the deadline is to, uh, June 1st of the next year. So if you're in first year, you apply at the end of your first year. So that's the beginning of second year. And if you're in second year, you apply at the end of your second year. And here are the programs with the dates that you apply at. So next I'll be talking about Ruxa and a little bit about who we are. So we can go to the next slide. So we were founded in So we were founded in 2013. Uh, we are Ryerson University Co-op Students Association. We are focused on providing value and growth opportunities to co-op students and employers through academic, professional, and social events. One of our main missions at uh, RUXA is that we like to bridge the gap between employers, students by creating a network of opportunities for them. Uh, we focus on three main principles. Our first principle being develop the, develop the community of co-op students across Ryerson. Second, foster strong relationships with industry professionals and partners. And third, facilitate the professional development of career driven individuals. So here are some of our partners that we previously collaborated with um, and currently we are going to be collaborating for the upcoming semester with uh, our industry partners such as CGI, FGF Brands and BMO. We have previously collaborated with Apotex and SI Systems as well as you know work with these companies to uh, help students learn more about them. Next is our marketing campaign. And so uh, previously it was called Humans of Co-op and now it's going to be uh, reimagined into This is Co-op. Um, so the purpose of this marketing campaign was to help students understand um, what co-op students are doing. And so it was a way for them to connect with co-op students and learn about their journey. And for first year students, you know, it was a great opportunity for them to connect with them and ask them questions and how they landed their first work term, as well as what, what they did in terms of building, um, getting a career into the, into the field that they're interested in. And so this is one of our campaigns that we are gonna be bringing back for the upcoming semester. Next, here are some of our upcoming events. And as you can see, we have three main events coming up in the fall semester. Uh, first being this month, which is demystifying uh, data science as well as data analytics. Um, so the main purpose of this event is to debunk myths about uh, careers in data science. Um, and we want students to learn about ways that they can get into the industry and how they can pursue a career in big data from a non-technical major. And so in this event, we'll have panelists from different uh, backgrounds, from different industries come out as well as co-op students to share their journey with students. 
Um, next, in October, we have our uh, RUXA times WIDM times HRSA collaboration. It's, it's going to be called Women in Business. And so this is a networking event with leaders in the industry. Um, you will get an opportunity to um, effectively build your networks and networking skills as well as develop your soft skills through a workshop that we are going to be hosting and gain uh, insight into different industries. Um, next, our last event that we're having for the fall semester is our virtual case competition. Uh, this is one of our um, this event is one of our uh, most anticipated events as this is the first time that Ruxa is going to be um, creating a case competition. And so the purpose of this case competition is to uh, challenge students with industry specific cases. Um, and it's gonna be a one day virtual case competition. So it'll allow students to basically tap into their creativity and problem solving skills to compete for first, second and third place prizes, as well as in this event, what we're gonna have is an opportunity for um, mentorship. And so this is a great event for first year and second year students who wanna build their case experience as we're gonna be partnering them up with mentors to give them an idea of how to actually cut a case. So in our next uh, slide, um, so here are uh, some of our uh, social media platforms which you can connect with us. To start off with, I'll talk about a little bit about the newsletter. So our newsletter is something that you can sign up for on um, ruxa.ca, which is our website. Um, our newsletter will keep you up to date with the events that we're doing, as well as provide you with information on, as I mentioned, what our, pre what our, what our partners are doing, our industry partners are doing in terms of recruitment, as well as co-op uh, positions. And um, in terms of being connected with us on Instagram and LinkedIn and Facebook, we post a lot of our marketing campaigns on there as well as our events. And um, we also post other stuff on there, such as, you know, whatever events that we are um, collaborating with other student groups for. And uh, Yeah, that would be our Instagram account if you were to click on there. Yeah, it's called Avarice and Ruxa if you want to follow us. We're mostly active on Instagram. And uh, yeah, so that uh, concludes our presentation. Um, thank you all for listening to us. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask us uh, right now in, in, uh, in the remaining time that we have. Or if you want to ask something about the co-op program or upcoming events, you can also connect with us on LinkedIn. You can connect with Renzo and I on LinkedIn if you want to ask us a specific question. Uh, we'll be happy to answer your questions for you. Just let us know that you are attended this event and we'll try to um, go from there. Thank you, Ruxa, so much. Um, so while we wait for uh, questions to come in from our attendees, uh, what I recommend is just, uh, just you know, talking about any uh, personal experience that you've had with Ruxa. Like, let's say, um, maybe start off with uh, your own experience of how you started off at Ruxa. Uh, so maybe you want to go first or should I? Um, I can go first. So this is my first time actually being part of Ruxa and um, from the times I'm being part of it, it's, it's I've learned that it's a really great student group to um, be part of because we actually really care about student growth and, and opportunities and the events that we are hosting. Um, we ask our um, co-op students what they want to see. And so um, for me, Ruxa has been that opportunity for me to grow and learn. Um, at the same time, the people at Ruxa have been amazing working with people like Renzo, um, you know, They've really helped me guide, help, help giving me guidance in terms of how to um, build my leadership skills. And so that's one of the reasons why I really like being part of Ruxa. And to kind of add on to that, as Fumia mentioned, like we have a great uh, team culture. If you join Ruxa, you'll be, you'll have a team. You'll have kind of like a family. It's kind yeah. of cliche to say, but like it really is a great team. Um, personally for me, I've actually been part of Ruxa twice. So last year I was the director of finance there. And what I can say is that Rux is one of those student groups that only keep improving. We did amazing last year and we're really excited for this year, especially with, uh, well, COVID is an unfortunate event, but like now it's kind of giving us a little bit of leeway to experiment a little. And that's why you see such great initiatives like the industry um, virtual uh, case comp. It's going to be a great opportunity for us to kind of try things out. And it's going to be a great way for you, if you're interested in joining, to kind of just see what Rux has to offer and 
really compete and kind of enjoy with your friends. But I highly recommend you go. Um, it's really a good opportunity, so I just highly recommend it. Uh, can you share a memorable experience that you've had uh, as a, as part of Roxa? Sure. So I could say that one of my most memorable experiences as part of Roxa is honestly just going to the team social, just having a good time. And I kind of mentioned it before, but it's like super cliche, but like it's really a great opportunity. And even if you are just join, uh, interested in joining any student group, I'd recommend just finding one, even if it's like a smaller one or a bigger one. Just find a student group because it really gives you an opportunity to talk to other people. And it's it's just a good idea. Uh, Samaya, do you want to talk about your favorite experience? Yeah, I would have to agree with Renzo with the team socials. Um, every single team meeting that we have at the end of it we have a social that we get to do with our team members and it's a great way to learn more about them i can say definitely i've made friends at ruxa especially working with people and learning more about them and um through the socials you know we do fun activities it's not like you know we do something lame it's like we have like uh, you know gaming nights and stuff so it's it's really uh nice to get that uh, as Rezo mentioned that culture from the people that you're working with so I can see that we actually have uh, three questions right now. So the first one is, where do you see Ruxa in the following year? And I think I can uh, answer that. So I think for us personally, I think we have a really good vision. And we really just see Ruxa as like one of those student groups that is going to be something that's going to be a lot more uh, memorable. Because uh, previously, we've actually had uh, a lot of students. When they think about Ruxa, they don't exactly know what it is. And that's something that we're really trying to change. So I think this year is just like a change, uh, a year of change, a year like a really big opportunity to rebrand and just to try things differently. Uh, so maybe do you want to touch upon that one or cover the next one? Uh, I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, I, one thing for Rexa, I would just say it's all about rebranding as what Renzo, Renzo mentioned this year. So our, our vision is to create new events for our upcoming student, for the upcoming year. So the next one is, uh, what is your favorite event that Rexa hosts? So for me, I would say the favorite event that Ruxo would host is the, probably the Mix and Mingles because um, it's, a, it's a great way for us to kind of uh, interact with the alumni as well as, as I mentioned, other co-op students, um, gain more you know, insight on what they're doing and help you kind of, you know, build your skill set. And so for me, we have like, um, you know, Mix and Mingles that would be a great event for um, us to kind of be part of. And to add on to that, with the winter semester kind of looking iffy, um, it's probably not gonna happen, but we have this uh, great event called the Industry Appreciation Gala, which is when we kind of invite like all our code students or managers. And we have just like one big exciting event where people kind of just get to celebrate co-op and just enjoy the experiences. So currently that's not available, but last year, uh, actually two years ago, it was uh, great. And that's something that we're really hoping for in the winter semester. But if it's not open then, then we'll have it uh, the year after. And we have one question, which is, uh, or the last one, which is, uh, what is the best way to get involved within Ruxa? Smeya, do you want to go and answer that one? Sure. So the best way to get involved with Ruxa is to A, attend our events. Because when you attend our events, it shows that, you know, you're interested in being part of our student group. And then at the same time, we are actively recruiting for our uh, next uh, for the next semesters. Um, so I would say if you wanna get involved with our student group, look out for applications uh, next year during the May and April time period. That's when we um, kind of have our um, applications started. As well as um, if you wanna you know, get an entry level position, we have associate roles that come out. And then that way, you know, if you wanna like build your experience throughout the student group, then you can do that through our associate positions. And to add on, just like getting involved with Ruxa, it's super simple. Just show up to our event, show engagement, maybe ask a couple of questions, and you're going to get noticed. So it's really a great opportunity to kind of get involved, just participate, and just follow our social media accounts. Honestly, they have everything that you would ever want. So just like follow them, kind of just watch. <laughs>